Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of Good Morning Cybertron. Not for children. Adults only. Don't fuck with us. We'll fuck you back. Um, yeah. We, we were wondering, uh, Thomas specifically, when's Unicron going to show up? <laughs> he gets here when he gets here, people. It's like I, 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 I was reading a thread the other day, people wondering whenever Unicron was going to show up. I have never seen more childish behavior out of a bunch of grown men that collect toys. It's, Sometime between now and the heat death of the universe. It's, I swear to fucking God, people. You know what? Things are already looking bad for us toy collectors. Do you have to act like that, really? Um, Has it been really bad? Like, really? It's been kind of bad. It's been kind uh, of bad. Oh, my God. Look, it's the Jersey Boy. Pete's with us today. Hello, everybody. Uh, all the way from Sweden, Tiz Holson. Hello. From sunny, sunny, sunny Canada, it's Thomas. <laughs> that there's a gooder. And from the <laughs> land of the orange sky, it's Blade Runner 2021, Xavier. Everyone's talking about when Unicron's showing up, and I'm just sitting here like Spider-Man behind the desk, wondering when my next Amazon exclusive is going to arrive. The one right. that matches Skylinks. Right. Oh my God. I want that one so fucking bad. Oh, can't wait, baby. Can't wait. Right. What I'm thinking about doing, I'm thinking about rearranging my collection and color coordinating it. Just, Ooh. it goes from like white, then Roy G. Biv, all the way into black. <laughs> oh my God. A literal transformation rainbow. Yeah. Yeah. You are. You are going to make so many uh, binary, uh, gay, straight, lesbian, the whole rainbow happy. Uh, speaking of rainbow, there is a place that you can arrange everything by rainbow. And that place is, uh, uh, say it with me now, sirtoys.com. You, you want I red? Mean, com. You want red? Let's look at red. Boom. Fucking wave of red knockoffs. Let's just... Is that an aquarium? I thought I just saw a red tank. That is what? a Lego display case. Oh. Ah. So if you can you can kind of build a Lego aquarium. You right. could. If you want. Let's or let's uh, Roy G Biv this motherfucker. Orange. Ooh. It said K over once when was there an actual official Lego display case? That's not a KO. <laughs> There you that go. sounds very strange, like a knockoff or a display case. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> it's a detolve. <laughs> Beast King Tiger Orange. Let's go yellow. Ooh. Scott, I got a I got a horrific idea. Yes. Puce? Type no, no. Type flesh. Ooh. Oh no. No items found. Ah, the flesh is weak. Flesh, <laughs> flesh cannot be found on Sir Toys. Indigo. Uh, indigo. No, no indigo. Infra no. red. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What? Ooh. Ooh. Infrared. Wow. Yeah. How about Dark Knight? Dark Knight. No items found, but no. I bet if we put in Bite Man, I bet it will. Yep. Oh my god. Surprise Batmobile. Angry Bird Batmobile. Oh my fucking god. What? What, what? Are these, what is this? Wait. What are, are they supposed to be like those egg toys? I think so. But but why? There's this kind of some kind of weird soft focus body horror thing going on here. <laughs> this is Uncanny Valley without the graphics. Look at the fucking grin on Batman. <laughs> I mean, that's like a robot fucking, chicken face. That's the fucking he Joker just, in disguise is what that is. He just heard about he's going to be in the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Oh, <laughs> Let me show you a used Batmobile. Batman's going to say fuck in the new Snyder Cut. Yeah, I kind of want this, to be quite honest with you. If it was a better bot mode. 
But to get like a knock, like a, a tumbler. Ooh. I don't mind the Batmo, but the head. Yeah, the the, the, tum- the tumbler is fuego. Yeah, the vehicle mode looks good. The- yeah. It looks like a shell form, so I guess you could just put a random different robot in. <laughs> god, that's so... That. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the gormless expression. <laughs> Look at the size of those testes, is what that face is saying to me. Oh my god, the... <laughs> That is the kind of car that could get any woman, but the driver is oh my god, that's a that's you want to stick breaker. that where? <laughs> I I guarantee, I guarantee this car will not get you any vagina whatsoever. You're saying this car could get any woman? I don't think it could because <laughs> I don't know, man. I show, I, up, show up to a heavy metal concert. And I'm sure you were fine. Too. I mean, you saw the first, and you saw the 2005 hope. Batman, right? Yeah. You saw how it took Rachel's breath away when she was driving in that car. Uh, man, I really don't think so. I think that you're going to pop out of that car. And if you're not shaped like Ben Affleck or, or, uh, Christian Bale, Christian Bale, if you're not shaped like them, it's just going to get laughs. Look, I know at least one homeless black man thought the car looked cute, and if he thought it looked good, then definitely the bitches will too. Whew. Yeah, this car ain't going to get you laid. <laughs> it's not going to get your women. It might even get you men. It might get you some men. <laughs> if that's And if that's your thing, hey, go for it. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Go for it. What the feck is yeah. Exagon? With the fact Hexagon. The feck is Hexagon. Dude, whoever Hexagon is, he's fucking tall. Yeah. Oh, that's that, uh, about three, three, yeah, times the, three times the height of a deluxe. Uh, Pretty big. I wonder if there's any Godzilla. I've been getting back into collecting Godzilla stuff lately. Oh! Try that, no. thing. Did you? that actually takes me a little yeah. bit by surprise. Yeah. I, I'd have, I've, I've expected at least some. Hmm. Maybe Doom Doomlock. He's pretty much a good sealer transformer. Let's see. No Doomlock either. Oh. Hmm. Hold on, Scott. Hold on. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. Maybe we're, Cruel Lock. We're the favorite son of Sir Toys. Type in the word Cybertron. Well, there you go. Cybertron Blur, Blocker, Defense Scatter Shot, Hot Shot. Yeah, decent amount. This is where you're, this is what your kaiju is gonna get you. You're gonna get a Cybertron scourge. <laughs> I have one of those. Scourge. I, I do, do too. too. I do. I have too. the cryo version. Yeah, me too. I, have the I got that. One. Me too. Yeah, I got I got the cryo version myself. That actually was not a terrible toy. No, that was pretty good. I liked it. I like well, the I like want... the colors a lot better than the original. If you want Danger Prostate Exam Transforming Tumblr Batman or any one of the thousands of things that we looked at by collar and horror, uh, <laughs> click the link down below, www.shirtoys.com slash question mark A equals 16. You get what you want. You don't pay a penny more. We get a little something on the side. Paul gets some extra business. God bless Paul for putting up with this because we've we've done some shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of it is just now coming to light. Yeah, Jesus. Ariana and I, we decided to make our uh, make our wedding plans the other day. We're going with the theme of, uh, since we had to get married, and then we're going to have the ceremony here in hopefully July or, or August or October of next year. The theme is going to be, since she's black and I'm white, colonization. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> As in, she gonna colonize that ass. Well, I was gonna colonize that ass, but you know, whichever way works. Uh, we're serving traditional English breakfast with uh, mangoes, uh, just to make everything <laughs> as racist as possible. Uh, <laughs> and I'll be there. Yes, in a sombrero. And my God, Super Seven! I I don't I don't understand why you're doing Optimus and Starscream. But good on you for Action Masters. That feels yeah. right. Yeah, I was going to say that. I saw this the other day, and I was like, that feels pretty legit. That feels that's exactly yeah. what the originals were. 
Yeah, that feels right. I, isn't it still fifty dollars to order these fuckers though? Yeah. But like, yeah. they don't they like come with all of the action oh. master stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so here <sighs> is Bonsai Tron. He comes with uh the gun, and he comes with uh his little crab claw shark yep, shark claw lead. whatever the fuck his name is. All all paths lead to crabs. Yep. All paths lead to crabs. <laughs> and then the uh, the bombshell comes with Needler. Nice. Uh, I, I didn't know that. I fucking love that. I didn't know he had an Action Master counterpart. Yeah, it was like oh, a yeah. little... He was a hat. He was a pleasant hat. <laughs> yep. He has cool a guns. A spring loaded hat. <laughs> yeah. He was a I quite like the loaded hat. Yeah. Are those hands like magnetic? I think they are. They look at oh. don't they? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I used to have a a Micronauts figure that was made of, of all these ball magnets. Who ah, was it? I remember was it, that. Was it the Scorpion Gecko Bat? No, it was you could attach him to like a horse. Yeah, you're talking about the villain. Uh well, right? this one, the one that I had was white, but it was basically oh, Baron right. was it Baron Karza, but in white. Right. Which yeah. is the same mold as Jeeg. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I had cool. I had still have it. Uh, I think it was Acro Monster was the name of it. It was a Microman yeah. that was, it was three monsters. It was like a, a bat, an iguana, and a scorpion. And then you could mix and match them up into like hundreds of different uh, acro monster. Mm. What does that bottom accessory do there? I think that's another gun. That is a gun. Yeah. That is a gun. I mean, shoot, if Walter was here. Oh, shoot. Scott, did we uh, let Walter know where to find us? Uh, I threw a little thing up there, Justin Marino. I threw a little thing up there saying, like, follow the link. So, okay. uh, I don't see any messages. Like, I, I said Messenger isn't working, so hopefully Walter... Yeah, Messenger still is not working for me. Man, I don't know what the hey happened, but that threw all our plans into whack for about ten minutes. Yeah, it did. <laughs> here's here's the Acro Monster. Boop. So there's a whole bunch of, like, there's the wow. bat one. There's oh, that's the, neat. There's the scorpion. There's the iguana. Oh. And there he is. This. Let's see, view image. There he is, like, all put together on the cover of the box. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so, this ah, is like, good. this is almost like multi-Mac, except made of animal parts. Yeah, uh, it looks like that. Almost, uh, yeah. Fossilizers, uh, weaponizers before uh, weaponizers. Well, I, think. well, I was going to say he looks like the the weapons platform Soundwave turned into in the Transformers movie game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're that. right. Yeah, multi stage bastard. You know, if Super Seven sticks with the Action Master thing and just makes more of those, I think they might have a win. Yeah, especially if they keep doing more of the uh, European exclusive ones, like Bombshell and... Uh, oh, Slicer yeah. and his Wheel of Death. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Man. I really, really want the Wheel of Death, guys. Carl and his weird transforming motorcycle. I, wa I want to th throw a little bit of business out to a friend of the show's. Uh, Trent Troop, he's been, a, he's been a longtime friend of the show. If if you're just after a needler for for bombshell, oh, may I suggest his ultimate arsenal on shapeways? The head crab. You were right. It is a hat. It's a hat. It's a he's, hat. He's made a much more detailed uh, uh, needler, and you get like the little the little uh, funky <laughs> gun, and you get like a regular bombshell gun for him as well. I love it. Trent, you're fucking with me though. Why is the price eighteen dollars 
and uh, two cents. Where I'll does tell you that what, two cents come from? Shapeways, Shapeways has thrown up. I don't do Shapeways anymore. Um, so if you happen to have a 3D printer, I can tell you this. Uh, get a hold of Trent Troop personally, and usually he's willing to sell you the file just so long as you don't share it with other people. Take him down, grab him by the ankles, shake him, make all the files fall out of his pockets. Honestly, Trent, you ought to put your stuff up on cults, man. Because I'll tell you what, like uh, Steam Shield, uh, Steam Shield put his stuff up on cults. And I mean, the stuff that the stuff that Steam Shield is, is making is just as good. You know, it's well, he it's, made an airplane. It's on par with the stuff Trent Troop is doing. So let's see here. Here's Steam Shield stuff, and it'll show you. Like this guy's made eight hundred and nine bucks so far off of his files. Like it says eight hundred sales US eight hundred and nine bucks. And I I bought stuff yeah. off Steam Shield and printed it off. He's Steam Shield does some great freaking work. Oh, is that a crankcase head? That is a crankcase head. You can get yeah, crankcase for, <laughs> yeah. if you have an extra road trap, you can get crankcase for road trap, or you can get crankcase for, what the heck here, for the four millimeter uh, sockets. Neat. Yeah. So for like combiner war printer. stuff, there's the huffer head, find out. Huh? this huffer head uh, right here. I've I've used Hufferhead to make my uh, to make my uh, the uh, fucking fulcrum from the scavengers, mm -hmm. the bomb guy. Yeah, the guy that transforms into a bomb. Uh, I've gotten the drill horn head. I've purchased uh, oh shit, what else? A lot of like Lyo Kaiser stuff for my rescue convoy custom. Yeah. I like I purchased a bunch of these heads. This Those one, are some this nice one, this one. looking heads. Oh my god! And they print out great. I bought the Tetrajet cone head. Uh, I'm gonna make some cu a custom dirge, uh, thrust and ramjet. And as soon as I get that done, I'm going going to print the purchase and print these wings out for them. I purchased this anode kit, the conversion kit, and the head. Yeah, holy hell, man! It's I mean, and it's not just that, man. Desert Octopus on cults. Desert Octopus is doing some amazing freaking stuff. Well, uh, before we go down this rabbit hole too fast, yeah. I wanted to go back to the Super 7. Super 7. Yeah, This dude's made shit. Okay, yeah, Super 7. There we go. So there was also the uh, the sparkly Starscream, Ghost of Starscream. Ghost Starscream. But here's the thing. Like... Starscream Optimus doesn't yeah, that got feel a lot like shit. doesn't that feel like shit that Red can do? It feels very much like it should be a subline of the Red products, but I like the Ghost of Starscream a whole lot. I will say them having the G one toy head kind of yeah. flicks yeah. my being a little bit. Because the, the thing with the alternate heads gives me the idea that Megatron could be holding one of these heads. <laughs> Like you could yeah, be holding it a lot. Head. That's awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. I like I like especially this one. It's very it strikes me as something very, very Japanese where they're like, Yeah, you guys can have all the figs you want, but we're the ones that do them in clear plastic. Cor correct me if I'm wrong, but in Beast it, it, you remember in Beast Wars when you got to see the inside of Megatron's room, he had a shelf. And on that shelf, he had he, he there was G1 Megatron's fusion cannon, right? And then right next to it was I think Starscream's severed head, but it was like the G1 toy head. Oh, do you remember that? I don't. I missed that. No, I don't remember that. I I I, I, I swear it was there. <laughs> now, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong. Are we looking at the first Ghost Starscream that has sparkles? Oh, <laughs> is this an unofficial oh, Speclatron crossover? This might be a Speclatron kidding. crossover. Woo! <laughs> okay, yeah. That's pretty damn good <laughs> if it is. Super 7, you had me until I found out that it, it wasn't, like the yellow chest cockpit wasn't hollow and I could check it up like a snow globe. 
<laughs> you lost me. Okay. You lost me, boy. That ha- they missed opportunity. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You done fucked up, son. I would really enjoy if this version of Starscream came with like a mini fig version of Octane with his head sticking out screaming in terror. <laughs> yes. Octane, please. buddy, it's me, Starscream. Oh my god. I love that idea. Who would you, who else would you like to see as uh like in this line, like as you know, action master wise? Ooh, the That's only one is like, like I've only ever had Optimus as a kid. <sighs> I never really had any action masters. Uh, I had Prowl and I had Starscream and I had Devastator. I think a Devastator would be nice because you could get get away with like uh, Scorpulator. Yeah. Um, but I think I would like to see, as far as action masters go, man, I would really, really fucking love a uh, a tread shot and a gut cruncher. Those are good yeah. ones. Or croc. I, I like a double croc, punch. Croc. Double crunch, yeah. Double double crunch. Double punch. Is it d- double yeah. punch. Double punch. The, the the one that that pseudo transforms. Yeah. Him and uh, yeah. Omega Spream. Oh, oh my God! Yeah. Oh yeah, my God! Yeah. Just wh- if you don't make an Omega Sp- Spream, you're fucking losing out on printing actual money. Yeah, Spream Cyclone. This would actually be the perfect yeah. uh, toy line to do some of like the cartoon only characters, like Nightbird and the yeah. Purple Phoenix from Carbomia. Ooh, yeah, Purple Griffin would be good. Uh huh. Man, man, oh, god damn, Super 7, mm-hmm. you need to hire us. <laughs> Before Scott makes the files himself by subcontracting Thomas. I was actually I was actually going to talk to Thomas and go, hey, actually, you know what, let's talk about this right now. Thomas? Okay, yeah, I'm I'm thinking, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about uh, kind of kicking in with you on something. I've got, oh. I've got a project that I think I, I've been like toying around in my head, knocking it around. I think you and me could knock it out. And I think it'd be damn interesting. Okay. Okay. I am thinking, let's see here. I am thinking this. Gynoroids. If we could do a full figure of powered buggy. Powered buggy. Powered buggy. Ultra Magnus's roller drone. Damn, son. Oh. I've never seen it before. It would be. Uh, here's some. Here's some resin copies. But getting getting a. Uh, I've been experimenting, like designing ball joints, and I think I've got it down. I think I've got it down. But. There's this, a trick to it, yeah. Yeah. This is this would be kind of a neat little neat little thing to throw out there as a file. Um are you I, sharing? I, 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 no, you, I'm just, oh, I, just I am that. so sorry. Just I'm I'm so selfish. I'm seeing it, so everyone else may it must be. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> Peasants. Okay, so that looks like it's based on uh, Spider-Man's Dune buggy. Fast Track? Or what? It's more Beachcomber than what? Fast Track. <laughs> what a face. Yeah. And it, this never became a Transformer. This this was like, what, a Diaclone? This was a Diaclone. This was what came with Ultra Magnus. That's a shame. Diaclone. Oh, no. Oh. I see a little bit of a resemblance to this guy. See, now I can't see. Yeah, there's a little bit there. Oh, you know yeah. what? Shit, oh. this could be a decent weaponizer. Oh, my God. What if, like, I never thought of it that way because I'm sitting here going like, okay, how do we how do we make this transformation work? Why couldn't we just fucking weaponize this? 
turn them in, just turn them into a nine millimeter nine millimeter peg monstrosity. Mm-hmm. Yes, made of bones. I mean, look at him; he kind of already is. Yeah. Oh, I think that this is doable. I think this is extremely doable. I never yep. even fucking thought to make him a weaponizer. And you can use you can just use this picture for reference, and you could definitely hammer something pretty passable out, out with this. Yeah. Yeah, I. Hmm. But like the way how his legs seem to how, seem to transform, very very similar to fast track, right? I Big think old. so. It, they kind of like they kind of like fold like out and then down, you know. Man, talk about cool looking. I like the what is that? Princess Leia hair buns and hair antenna. <laughs> Princess Leia weaponized hair buns. <laughs> it looks more like he's got. It, it looks more like he has rocket launchers for ears. Right. Uh, he, he kind of <laughs> reminds me of the the ear gun Devastator had. It's just like, oh, what you gonna shoot me with your ears? You know, that could be part of the whole weaponizer thing. Those those who come off and turn into like little pistols. <laughs> or maybe those are the eyes, actually. And he's a horrible mantis. Actually. <laughs> I was using the yes. wrong. I was using the wrong name there. Um, who, which was the purple car that came with uh, that comes with Trypticon? Full tilt. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was his his vehicle mode is sort of full tilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. I can see that. Anyway, yeah, I like this idea. Thomas, you have seventy two hours. Make it happen. <laughs> seventy two hours. Seventy two hours. Thomas, don't listen to Xavier. He may be the shadow leader of this show. <laughs> but don't trust anything he says. By the way, Scott, as uh, my underling, uh, anything he says you don't have to listen to. Listen to me. 72 yeah. hours. Make your choice wisely, Thomas. <laughs> oh, fuck. But that is... I mean, these are cool, but they're not fifty-five dollars cool. A shame. Yeah, very much true. It's a it's a bit of a shame. Uh, all them accessories with Optimus, kind of tempting. Looks. Yeah. Very- are their legs entirely static? I think so. They're just like. That is a bit of a shame. No. Yeah, I think it's it's mostly just for display, but there's a lot of cool stuff here. It's just a shame they make you do it as a package deal. Uh Fuck. Go ahead and talk. I need to take this. I apologize. That's all right. <clears throat> so, oh, he's focusing on you, Thomas. So all we see is you. Yep. So. <laughs> I guess you're. I guess you're running the show. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yes. I don't know. I like it. Just yeah. I like it, but not fifty-five dollars. No. I mean, okay. I, I'll be honest. If. Uh, Double punch or scream was was part of the deal, maybe, but I mean, and that's a big maybe. But sorry, that was Optimus that Prime. was my boss. I apologize. Oh, the flywheels guy. Yeah, flywheels guy. That's him. Huh? Yeah. You'll. We'll tell you later. Yeah, it's alrighty. Fuck me. <laughs> it's. You were saying, Pete. <laughs> oh, that uh, if it was uh, Double Punch or Scream, maybe I'd, I'd shell out the $55, but um, I, I don't really have a connection to Bonsai Tron. I have like 8,000 uh, Optimus Primes as it is. And I don't know, Bombshell, I mean, he's got a cool hat, but I mean, I could just buy it off of Shapeways for 18 bucks and, you know, yeah, add it to the one that I already have. Yeah, yeah. What I've done is I customized up a bombshell to look like the red and uh, red and slightly red uh, clone versions that, they, that eHobby put out a few years ago. What was it? Shot Hole, Salvo, and Zap Trap? Great names. I think yeah. I remember, yeah. So my Salvo now has a pleasant hat. 
Yeah, I I like speckless scream. <laughs> I think that's like the clear winner of it all. But it's 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 like the only thing. It's just like it would be kitschy. It would be fun to look at. Hold it up to the light every now and then. But I wouldn't do anything else with it. God, that yeah. itself is a cool name. Speckless scream. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go buy an Earthrise Star Scream and a can of glitter paint. We're gonna make this fucking happen. <laughs> like this is what happens when like star scream gets hit by a quantum surge while standing next to a patch of psilocybin <laughs> <laughs> i think i'm Damn. dead man <laughs> <laughs> Shit. what the hell happened to your personality star scream Fuck, man. Hey, last man. thing i remember last thing i remember i was looking at the mushrooms whenever galvatron <laughs> shot me man what i missed <laughs> Oh. I think I was a king. Maybe I was a queen. Oh man! All of a sudden, the universe opened up and swallowed me, and then I <laughs> and became then I a, a pretty wasp. flower. <laughs> <laughs> then I think I was a wasp for a while. Think of a tree, man. <laughs> <laughs> More Transformers weirdness. I, I love Deep Cover. We got official news today that the Deep Cover pre-orders were open. And I love the fact that this toy is one-to-one -one scale. <laughs> what? Yeah. Deep Cover has the power to shrink down to the size of a deluxe class Transformer. Mm -hmm. that's, really, so, that's like canon. Yeah. yeah. So just add water and you got yourself a Lambo. Mm-hmm. There's, you know what I love? I, I fucking, I fucking love that we are out of the age of fucking BotCon, and this would have been a $45 figure. Yeah. No, but I go fair. over to Hasbro Pulse, and it was just like, coronavirus, $20. <laughs> Yay! I, I think it's a good and bad thing. Good because it's like, you're right, the pricing is much, much more controlled. We're not dealing with the old defunct website anymore. However, this once a month thing is starting to add up real quick. Like, right. I've got an idea. Paint one purple. <laughs> Was, there a purple door. Was there ever a purple Lambo? I don't know. Check the UK comics. It's, oh yeah. Found one. It's Lambo shrapnel. <laughs> <laughs> Send them the fuck out. Yeah, my God, I've got so many Lambos and Sunstreakers, and fuck me, man. I like this color scheme. I, I love that it's an offbeat character. That's why I got a pre-order in. I love it. Don't care anything else. I need it. Do you guys remember whenever, like, December, January, and February were, like, the fucking dry seasons? There was nothing to ever buy. Right. Yep. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my God, I can't take time. it anymore. I know. <laughs> it's like it's like Hasbro's giving like a long, like a, a long rapid fire blowjob, and we've nutted, <laughs> and it's just Hasbro will not stop and get off our dick, and it's just like sensory overload. You know what? <laughs> they are trying to make up for that four year gap of like no bot cons and exclusive fakes. I, I was like the soul out of your wallet. It's mm -hmm. it's gotten to the point right now where like I keep having to like order stuff and I keep waiting for there to be a lull so I can buy that skateboard gorilla figure, but it hasn't stopped yet. No, no, no. and it's not going to. No, between Pulse, Amazon, and BBTS being like the big three that get everything, it's just like you can you can wait maybe I think two weeks maximum before they they tease a blacked out poster going who does this look like and you go oh please don't be that oh. one exclusive and, the, and then they go you're right it's that one exclusive no not black Derek. no no <laughs> no please please don't no, please virgin. i don't have imagine, room for, i don't have room for anything else imagine all of your dreams coming true, but you can only but you only have like you can only afford like one thing. Oh, I'm in hell. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is just beast if you've got the time and the space. But anything else, and you're just like, no, please, the gotcha. It's too strong. Like, 
like Hasbro shoved four dildos up my ass, and I'm going like, room for one more. <laughs> but that's my you, favorite dildo. Jam. <laughs> you get that fifth <laughs> one in there, they combine and <laughs> transform into Nexus Maximus. <laughs> oh, that, don't do that. Don't give them ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks from now, we're going to get like a bunch of Combiner Wars Nexus Maximus up there. Oh, God. Oh, oh please. I'm just, I'm just waiting for it. The weak spot for me is like offbeat characters we, we haven't ever seen before. Which Who is wants great, a Combiner I, Wars mock tackle? No. Oh, God, no. No, I'm just waiting. Like, when they start doing the. Randy. <laughs> when they start doing the e hobby stuff. That's when I'm going to start sweating because I need the e hobby stuff. Oh no, no! This this and this e hobby right here. I think Deep uh, is e hobby. Was he e hobby? Let's see. Yeah, inspired by the e hobby exclusive Deep Cover. Oh, I missed this one. I lost Xavier for a second. Did did anybody else? No, no, I'm here. There. Okay, okay. No. See this car no. here, Thomas. Yes. You pull up in this car. Your life is now an avalanche of vagina. Because <laughs> that's yeah, it's a yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a this car, know. this car will like if you're looking to sleep with a girl, you pull up to her house in this car and wearing a suit and tie, you get to sleep with her, her sister, her mom, and her dad. I don't know. Hold on, Scott. <laughs> we need to do some peer studied review. Where's Ariana? I think she's asleep. Wake her up. No. <laughs> He's like, I did you, that. He, he made that mistake already. He you you do not want to wake up somebody from the Bahamas who is but in wait. a restful net. What the hell are you waking me up for, man? <laughs> you're holding but wait, up, didn't you say? You're holding didn't up you buy eight by eleven glossy photos, one of the Tumblr Batman, one of Deep Cover. Which one would you fuck if they drove up? You're not getting any more sex ever if you keep this shit up, Scott. <laughs> Why she turn this, Irish? This didn't you say this car? <laughs> I is can't the, do the Bahamas accent, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, if you do this again, <laughs> Magora, <laughs> you're getting none of me out of me lucky charms, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, Thomas. Please continue. Oh, I was just going to say, like, this isn't this car going to be the size of a deluxe transformer? So how would you? Be like a clown car. Well, he's he's able to mass shift up. He can just shrink down to this this size. Yeah, think Rick Moranis. Yeah, he's an ant. He's the Ant Man Transformer. Now I don't yeah, know think... if it can stretch. Like, does like is the X, Y, and Z axis locked, or can he be like you know get it like the X and Y fine, but the Z axis, so you end up with a car that's like forty two feet tall. I don't know. <laughs> Is this a green screen thing like Peter Dinklage in Infinity War where he played the world's tallest dwarf? Yeah. Peter Dinklage, world's largest midget. <laughs> Four? <laughs> oh, my God. I Yeah, I pre-ordered this. Me too. I pre-ordered this right the fuck <clears throat> away. I don't even care. He only comes with like two accessories. I love this idea of the e-hobby stuff coming out. Me too. Well, I think the e-hobby only came with the two, didn't it? I mean, it's just the fact that it's e-hobby, which I think is a great way of getting around all the really, really pricey, expensive figs. But, like, you figure they were going to upgrade a little bit with, like, some of the stuff they were going to come out with. Let's see here. Deep cover. 2003? Yeah, he just came with the... The missile, the launcher, and the gyrojet rifle. What is it called? Cryojet rifle? Gyro. Gy gyrojet. Gyrojet. Interesting. Let's see here. Investigator attached to Cybertron's capital city police force, dispatched to Earth with his brother Clamp Down, with whom mm -hmm. he shares a common program architecture, being born of the same generation product line, Solo infiltration investigation missions, making much use of his image projection, parabolic antenna, size reduction functions, the last of which can shrink him down as far as 140th normal size. Uh, deep cover carries many secrets within him. Let's see here. So, clamp down. What the fuck does clamp down look like? Are you sure that's gyrojet, not hero jet? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have no oh, idea. No, no. 
I know. Clampdown is. Oh, okay. That's the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guess what we're getting next week. <laughs> he's clamped down. Oh, yeah, he's he's please. just he's just red alert, but with less red. I'm a clamped down virgin. Oh God, no! He's just alert. Sweet Jesus, no, no more. <laughs> I can't fucking do it, man. He's alert. Sing this song, dude. Jesus. <laughs> I think that's really how they do it, isn't it? It's just like if you understand the lore, you know where this chain's going. You go from deep cover to clamp down to whatever next. It's just like they're just going to keep rolling them out, man. Hold on here. Okay. Give me a fucking second here. We're going to tfu.info again. We're going to go to, let's go to year 1984. Let's go to sideswipe. And let's see here. Mold history. So we got Sideswipe. We got G2 Sideswipe. Uh, I don't think they'll make New Year's. We got Deep Cover. We got Tiger Track. Uh, so yeah, Clampdown's the only one left. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's already a Masterpiece Clampdown. Oh, I fuck. Armada Wheeljack. No. That is another one. I'm there's Yeah. I'm just scared if they decide to start doing leader class figs. Oh god, it hurts. <laughs> hey, you nerds like the lucky draw shit? No. <laughs> oh please. <laughs> They're using the dildos and sucking. No! <laughs> How many of you nerds want vacuum gold metallic optimuses and Crayola optimuses? Where's our Pepsi optimus? That is a legal nightmare I don't think they'll ever get out of. Let's just make it Beepus. Beepus Optimus. <laughs> Beepus Optimus. Just Pepsi upside down. Is is Beb? Is Beb Optimus? They can make they can make Beepus Prime or Beepus Convoy, and then they can make the Conk Ultra Magnus. I would love to see Pepsi Prime that combines with other things. So it's like you got Pepis. your you got your Ultra Magnus. Whoa, what is going on, Scott? Beppus. That's not honest to God. That is not my house. Like the howling. Uh, yeah. Normally oh, you that's, hear that's my that's my house. <laughs> Thank God. I thought I thought the werewolves <laughs> the werewolves were here. Because I did have where I'm fairly certain <laughs> I'm fairly certain certain that Pebbles is a werewolf because every once in a while I catch a naked midget with one eye raiding my fridge. So <laughs> 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 that's a very strange condition where he transforms into a man yeah <laughs> it's like that Bugs I... Bunny cartoon where he adopted the baby that he didn't know was a bank robber yeah <laughs> I saw a movie where a dog got bit by a werewolf and turned into a human on a full moon is that is hey. tonight the night that happens <laughs> huh it's tonight the night that happens nah there was an episode but, of the X Files where it was it was a reptilian, an underground reptilian, got bit by a human <laughs> and transformed into a human. Do you remember the episode of Futurama where Bender got hit by Project Where's Satan our- and turned into a wear car? Yes, I Where's did. Our- One of my favorites. I was you all the what? great robot actors. Robot actor seven two seven eight five. Robot actor X seven seven three three. David Duke Company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. We finally have in hand images of Inferno. Some Looking lucky so and so got him, and he is beautiful. Looking good, boy. Mm hmm. Yeah, Does he have nice. ear wings? Oh, he has ear wings. He has ear wings. Ooh. He absolutely cool. has ear wings. I wonder if he has so- the same problem with those pegs. On his crane boom. Nope, but he has no problem doing the Leonardo DiCaprio strut. There it is. On his crane boom? What what problem? 
Oh, does anybody else know about that? I do not. He looks like uh, fire gets the, the, the pegs, the pegs that connect the boom to his feet while he's in his truck mode. Oh yes. Uh, and with, with grapple, the um, the tolerances are not quite right, and sometimes they break off. G R. I, I know what you're talking about. Oh my god, yeah. so scary. Grap That's why no. I took a sandpaper and and Jerry very gently uh, sanded mine down a little. Right on. Good for you, man. That's how. That's why. That's uh, how why uh, I own one of the last three remaining Beast uh, Beast Wars Soundwave figures <laughs> by removing some of the clearance. Yeah. Or tolerances. Yeah. Yeah. I I got it in package here. Oh, geez, about 13, 14 years ago, and I mean, I fucking I pulled that thing out, and I took a needle file. And before I moved anything, it was like file, 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 gently wiggle, file, 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 gently wiggle. And I'll tell you what, if I ever get a 3D scanner, you damn well better believe that Beast Machines uh, or Beast Wars Soundwave, I'm going to buy a junker and scan the living uh -huh. shit out of that. Because that's a figure that, God help us, needs to be remade. Well, all the mutants uh -huh. were kind of like that. Yeah. I really like that one that turned into the um, the fish and the scorpion. That was a cool one. Yeah, he was good. Was that Razor? Razor Dick something other? I don't know. I hope he's as red yep. as Inferno is because, god damn, I like this look. It's so fucking nice. And we're going to get an art fire out of this. Yeah, that's true. Art fire is always the Inferno mold. Yeah. Last version had two mini cons, I think. You know who I'm honestly surprised we haven't gotten? Holler. Oh, yeah. No? We have not gotten a green grapple yet. He could end God, up being a thing someday. Too. I love my hauler. Like, I was so surprised when I was able to snag him. Man. There's already a figure of him? No, I mean original release from eHobby. Oh. oh. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Oh. You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, oh, so oh yeah, it's everybody. Oh, it's hey, Pebs. Mm. hey, Pebs. Mm. Pebbles, you gonna, Pebbles, are you going to be Thundertron for Halloween? You're going to be Thundertron? You want to howl for them? Huh? Ow, 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 ow. No, he's not doing it. <laughs> Just making me look like an idiot on YouTube, which, you know, yeah. kind of a fucking <laughs> Just... weekly thing for me. <laughs> He's as wriggly as a cat. He really is. He's essentially... I'm not convinced he isn't a cat. <laughs> Except for all he's the dogs. He's, he's adopted their ways. He really has. Like a, cat, like, like a cat growing up in a horse stable. Have you ever seen what happens? No. They they, they develop that trot that, that horses do. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. Yeah, is that is that why house cats, whenever they uh, they grow up around humans, they just end up sleeping on their bellies or sleeping on their backs and their bellies are face up? <laughs> My cats do that all the fucking time. <laughs> but I, I do know that, like, I've seen video footage of how of cats who had grown up in stables with horses, and they actually do appear to mimic the way the horses walk. That's incredible! Fucking hell! <laughs> fucking hell! Share the Can screen. I... Yeah, we've we've got <laughs> images of Rusticon too. Eh, all right, fine. What's the outlet Yay. for this one? Is it Amazon? Is it BBTS? What is it? Walmart. All right. Congrats, Pete. You got first dibs. I I well, don't think you. I want this. I don't understand from a story standpoint why he has to be all junkered. Well, he, there was that scene with the sparkless in Siege. Uh, that that was like zombies, though. We've done... This is weird. Yeah, I don't like this. He's factionless, which is okay, I guess, for, for, from like a, like a, a storytelling standpoint, but... Yeah, he, uh, he kind of looks more like a statue. Yeah, he does, and it's like if you're gonna tell me these are zombies from the Siege storyline on Netflix, 
he he's like a babe you know what i mean he's supposed to be horror horrific and deranged for energon and flesh but he looks too nice like everything is in its place he still transforms this is something that could have been a super seven project yeah this i i just don't give a shit no <laughs> like it looks half it looks like half of it wasn't finished and it looks like the other half was stuck in the toilet bowl at walmart Somebody, this is what happens whenever somebody, their dad had a Porsche, and then then they got this figure and decided to try to paint it like their dad's Porsche, realizes customizing is not easy, and then tries to remove the paint and gives up 20 minutes later. Oh, you mean like that lady who tried to re- restore the picture of Christ? Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Wookie. The Wookie one. The one that looks like Wookie Christ. Yes, I remember that. What the fuck is this? Uh, a sleek Cybertronian Lambo, I guess. It looks like somebody added wheels to a bar of Beskar. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Like, but- I'm going to say what this reminds me of. My son, when he was a kid, when he went to school, they made these little plaster cars. And it had all the kids paint them. Oh, and yeah. And that's what this looks like. A little plaster car that that the kids just threw a bunch of paint on boxcar racers and they they you wound them up with rubber bands so they would go forward no no this one was made out of like i don't know some kind of clay or something like it was it was hard it's i have it somewhere sculpting clay something like that yeah and it turns into like a little brick in the shape of a car this is the time painted this reminds me of the time i ate 57 silver crayons on a dare and the next day It's like, wait a minute, if you ate all silver, why is part of it black? It's like, uh-oh, that's not good. That's got blood. <laughs> <laughs> Could be like a car from Fallout 3 or something. I guess. I mean, the, the mashup of aesthetic in the bot is just like, it's messing with my head, man. It doesn't look good. No. 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 It's. I mean, Olsen's right. If this was supposed to be like a rock former that transformed into a car, because it does look more like a statue, that would be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know this color scheme could look good. If, you know, um, um, Hunt for the Decepticon uh, Hubcat. Ooh, you're right. Imagine that car with this color scheme. That would actually mm. be kind of cool. With because then he looks like a abandoned old car from, like I don't, I don't know the fifties or whatever. Yeah, this That's looks cool. like this it's looks like smooth. Old, yeah. I mean, it looks like the old old Steve Buscemi bot. Yeah. And Here's what you. I'm, I'm going to give our new. listeners. I'm going to give our listeners a little piece of advice. If you want sparkless transformers, go get yourself some rust colored paint, like a light rust, a dark rust, and a can of silver paint. Head on over to our Facebook page, the Junk Transformers Buy, Sell, and Trade. Uh, get a lot for like twenty dollars. There's going to be like like probably like thirty transformers in there, missing parts. There's your sparkless. Just yeah. call them together. Yeah. Ugh, I hate that I have to have one of these as a completionist. No, you don't. A uh, completionist. You don't have to be that man. I mean, I've been that man for 10 years. It looks like someone started sandblasting it, but then, then just changed his mind. Right? This looks like the, <laughs> the YouTube channel that's like, hey, I got a project for you. Can you restore this old barricade toy back to normal? And this is the condition he gets it in? Yes. Yeah, 20 I, minutes later. No. <laughs> he put the he, he put the sandblaster on the side of the car and was like, eh, I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one of those YouTube channels do that with the RPM racer cars for Optimus. He did a nice job. Man, fuck mm-hmm. this. <laughs> <laughs> the packaging better be really fucking nice. No. No, you know what I think of packaging. Fuck packaging. <laughs> Scott dances it's around it. <laughs> Is this the new Armada Sideswipe? Is this the lowest point? This sucks. Holson, do you got any other words of derision for this? Um, I think that the color scheme is interesting, but it's, it's for the wrong toy. Mm-hmm. 
like this kind of concept has potential, but they they use the wrong the wrong robot for it. Yeah, yeah. I would I would definitely say like Autobot X, like oh, as shit. a junker robot. Yeah, as a junker robot, Autobot X would fit better fit better with this than some barricade toy you're trying to pass off as a zombie. You know what? And this mold too would make a good Autobot X. Yeah, wasn't that the head? Was it the prowl part of the prowl head? It was part and of the one, prowl yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah, and one wheel jack ear ear light. Uh, shit, I don't remember. Um, I want to say it was prowl and hound. That doesn't seem right. Here we go, Autobot X. Nope, just the prowl head. No, it's oh wait, it's one half prowl, one half Optimus, I think. But it's a red antenna. Oh, unless that is prowl. And just slapped on the side on both sides. Okay. Hold on here. I think we got a full list of parts on TF Wiki. Uh let's see here. Alternate mode mishmash. Uh let's see here. Notes. It's Prowl's forehead crest and right chest front bumper, Blue Streak's left door, Sunstreaker's left shoulder, Hound's shoulder mounted missile launcher and right fender, Trailbaker's arm cannon, uh, left chest and left thigh, Optimus Prime's left wrist and parts of the right leg, Jazz's photon, photon rifle, the back of Jazz's left leg, and Jazz's crotch. So he went black for the crotch. He went black for the crotch. That's a smart move. Yeah. I don't know why he had to go on a rampage. <laughs> I guess, you know, he was a white man's soul with a black man's crotch. <laughs> it's like, no, my worst fear. I, Reagan, Reagan's America, help me. I, I know the terror. I know the terror. <laughs> oh, fuck me. The, uh, this, this I loved. Your your target exclusive rainmakers, don't worry, you can yeah, get them again. I, I didn't. I got them at store <laughs> for a decent price. Yeah, I so ordered I'm, through the website, but you can get them now. At Big Bad Toy Store, TF Source, Chosen Prime. For all of our ninjas out there that didn't get thrust, you know this this makes me hopeful. Mm -hmm. This does make me hopeful because Target has sucked. Yeah. Oh yeah, the the distribution plan. I don't know if this is everybody. My target was one kingdom fig only per week. Yeah, target straight up sucked. And I mean, we're not. It's not the only ones. Whenever, uh, whenever I was at the uh, the online Hasbro convention, like they were doing like the GI Joe stuff, I think, or Star Wars. I think it was might have been Star Wars. And they stuff came up with like this is a Target exclusive, and like the entire fucking side just went ban Target. Target sucks. Fuck Target. Go to hell, Target. Target raped my mother. And I mean, it was <laughs> people well, do not like Target. I don't know what what it's more about the the company or just bad distribution during a, a pandemic, but. This sucker was a hot ticket for a long time because of that. Really drove up the price. And I recall Acid Storm specifically here on the left was on eBay just the other day, sold separately 110. You're kidding. Nope. Holy shit. I saw I saw Nova Storm for 15 the other day in a uh, in a thrift store uh, here in town. Oh. Huh. I passed. Oh, oh, sorry. Bless you, Tom. I, 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 I didn't have a chance to mute, but no, the... that's okay. That's a dude, dude. Fuck it, fucking hell. The only time you should mute is whenever you're getting a blowjob. Are you getting a blowjob? No. Well, then don't worry. <laughs> Why are you doing the pose then with your hands behind your head and Seriously. leaning back? Seriously. <laughs> How hard is Hasbro I... sucking the dick right, right, right now? <laughs> I missed my opportunity to get these the first time. You're not missing out a whole bunch. It's just the Cybertronian Tetrajet mode. 
mold, yes. which is bountiful. If you really want to customize some, you probably would be able to do a really good job. The Phantom Strike version of Skywarp mm-hmm. from Amazon that was on e- or, uh, Amazon for a while, mm-hmm. which was the Tetrajet. He actually was just one solid color black, and someone decided to mishmash a bunch of pieces, and I saw that they made a custom for that version, and he got premium price for it. Like, he made it look good with the hot pink arms and, like, the right colored accessories. Like, he made the the uh, the Amazon exclusive one look exactly like the, the show model. And someone loved it. Loved it. And they were like, I'll pay your blood money. Blood money is important. My my mother used to give me blood money. Really? Every day. But For a positive? Took it. <laughs> oh fuck! This, this makes me so goddamn hopeful. I yeah, I like this. I really want people to get their hands on this. Uh, little little sad Red Wings, not the first announced. Do you have a Red Wing? I'm working on one actually right now. Okay, okay. Right on. Right I on. I sincerely hope this maybe leads to a reissue of the two cone heads. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ramjet and Dirge, please. Yes. Yeah. Because I missed that one. That There's no, like, like I should, in all honesty, have that figure now. Figures. Yeah, you pre-ordered it, didn't Figures. you? I did. I pre-ordered it, and, and, and they canceled it. They did. Because yeah. they didn't have enough. They did the same to me on BBTS with some of my Evangelion merch, and I was like, fuck you guys. You listen to me, and you listen yeah. to Rich Bezos. <laughs> you may be retiring, but before you set foot out that door for the last time, I want my fucking shit. You better goddamn well. <laughs> Mech fans toys. Little junky ones. How little? Like Legends class. Cyphers. Oh. That's cool. Yeah. Looking I, good. I, I think they look nice, but I don't know. I have a crash hog waiting for me that I mean, uh, haven't that I have that hasn't come yet, so I wish I had guns for nipples. I mean that's what I was thinking too. I was like, Howitzer nipples? Come on, Scott. You yeah. gotta give it the thumbs up for that. Yeah, some Howitzer <laughs> nipples would I'm not gonna lie, that'd do me pretty good. Mm-hmm. He needs uh, bayonets on them. <laughs> <laughs> bayonets. Give him a good old Christian side hug. <laughs> How about Bayonet- a good old fashioned Christian side hug? Could you just imagine an army of junkions being attacked by a wave of Decepticons and they just say, fix bayonets. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, everything. why is that one putting on three bayonets? Oh, God. <laughs> He's putting on bayonets on his wheels. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Put a bayonet on his gun and then affix a smaller bayonet to that bayonet. <laughs> <laughs> that, that junkion just transformed into a bayonet. That That's not allowed. The fuck? <laughs> Turns out Reco never had a mustache. He's with tiny bayonet. <laughs> what the? He's putting them together like a boomerang? It's coming right for us! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. A, a boomerang with uh, bayonets. Beta, it's, you got you got Gar with his like lightning bolt looking bayonets and he just like twirls them madly and he goes, ha ha! And then he just whips it at you. <laughs> oh my god. I fixed bayonets to everything. <laughs> it's like now now he really is the, the slicer vehicle from the European exclusive line. Yes. Oh, oh if anyone should have that vehicle, it's the junkions. Yes. It's, like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a giant Sonic the Hedgehog. Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I, this is cool. I'm just, I'm not big into Legends class figures unless they're Legends appropriate. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like mini bots. Yeah. The price alone is going to be kind of like a sticking point because 
I really do like the idea that you should have Junkions riding other Junkions. So a Legend Class Fig able to sit atop one of your store-bought Deluxes would look really cool. But if he paid like three times the amount for the Legends, eh, no. Yeah. There is one instance, I think, where having a bunch of Legends Class stuff is appropriate. And that is if you have a lot of city bots that are in city mode. Oh, yeah. I actually, on the Facebook page, once we get to Lookie, found someone on the subreddit who made Minibot uh, City. Well, just used to, to pop, just populated it with tons of legend stuff? Yeah, they used all of the uh, the base modes and made a uh, little Minibot City. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. He said little. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, mm, uh, no, nothing. Uh, I got nothing. No love? I'm sorry. I'm thinking about tits. How it's yours? I mean, do we have a, a price point for these? Let me see here. Because if, if it's it like just, thirty dollars, it it's not bad. Is it just Rekar or are there others? See, this is what Mech Fan Toys. Fans, Morbius. Ooh, Mortal Kombat masks. We're probably looking at like forty bucks. A little pricey, right? That's. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's the price of a cordon and spin out on here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Uh... I mean, since how big is this is figure called, here? I'm sorry, what was that, Holson? Uh, since the line is called Recyclos, they should do, do a recycle. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. That would. Uh, this figure is 3.94 inches, so just a little bit taller than a Star Wars figure. Yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty small. So. Yeah, uh, too bad. Looks yeah. nice though. I want to say I want to say it's cool, but I just there's been so many nice Rekgars lately. There's been like the like if you want the Legends class Rekgar, they you know Combiner Wars had both a Legends class Rekgar and then mm-hmm. a Deluxe class Rekgar, and then you go back to like classics like Chug, and they have a really nice fucking Rekgar. Well, let's not forget we also have an '86. 86- Studio series line that hasn't done the Junkions yet. Yeah. So and then of course you've got the, the the KFC ones. Yeah, but I'm really hopeful with the first wave of '86 proven really really popular. We're gonna see the later half with the Junkions, and that means definitely gonna see some Junkions riding other Junkions if they manage to pull off that engineering feat, which is not out of the realm of possibility, which means you get yourself another little reflector situation. We're like, gotta have two, gotta have three, gotta have them all. I want a Nancy. If they do the movie line to like the nth degree, Nancy's gonna be in there. I don't think Nancy was in the movie. No. She wasn't? She wasn't. No, she she was... No. She was in the series, but she wasn't in the movie. But her oh, people were in the movie. Yeah, the Lithians. Damn. Is that, is well, that where she's from? Yeah. Yep. She's from, first planet from, that, from the... Yep, wow. first planet that gets eaten by Unicron. I, had, I thought she was a junkie on. She's not. So <clears throat> there, was actually, there was actually some fiction I read someplace where it explained that, like, she was, she was like a survivor of Lithion. They crash landed later after the events of the movie on Junkion and and like Rekgar took her in, but her memory's fragmented, so she doesn't remember. Huh. So she's like the last member of that entire species. There are others. There are others. But not panics though. That's yeah. still a good explanation, which it, which is cool. And uh just <laughs> Just to see her ride some Rekgar with the howitzer nips. Do the, do the, do the, do the, do the, do the people from Lithion actually transform at all? 
I'm pretty sure Floro yes. Derry drew something. Yes, they do. Yes, they, they actually do. are. They are Transformers. They are. They are Transformers. Uh, Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics did the. Uh, let's see here. Where the fuck is she? A big broadcast. Nancy. Nancy they didn't like seem other... to. They didn't look like they turned into anything in the movie. They just. A robot. Lithium. Maybe not the movies. So Arbalus, there's Cranix, and Cranix, Cranix. There's Cranix's alt mode. Oh, it's a, oh. It's a thing. It is a His thing. His face stretches to form a nose cone. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's a bird fish. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> And then let's see, Arbalus has an alt mode as well, which is kind of the same thing. There's Arbalus. Similar. It's a Omega I mean, Scream too... color thing. Wow. What's that whole system? Like they're, they're not uh, too bad, those jets. It's uh, he... like it's it's recogni- rec- recognizable as a spaceship, but it's not, you don't see, you don't. Think of Cybertron when you see yeah. it. So it's like I think the uh, I, I think the Egyptians worship these. You know what this <laughs> kind of reminds kind me of? Kind of looks like what this kind of reminds me of Beast Machines, <clears throat> where the head of the toy looked like the front of the vehicle. Yeah. Oh, mm. that yeah. What what I this kind of what this reminds me of though are those flying vehicles that they use in Masters of the Universe. Oh yeah, the movies. Yeah, because if you look at if you looked at Arbalus there, he looked like he almost had a seat. Sit yeah. on my face. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mech fans toys. You want my money? Make a couple of lithiums. Yeah, that's a that's one that's under the radar. Man, maybe they'll make it into the second wave of uh eighty six stuff. I need some. Uh, I need some stuff to throw into my quintessence pit. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Oh fuck, Funby! Do you hear me? Listen to me, Funby. Look, look what your child has made for you, Funby. Funby. Scott couldn't wait for lucky what I found or uh, reinforcements. Oh no, this isn't done. This isn't even a reinforcement yet. <laughs> I need to finish it before I can even call it a reinforcement. Fuck it. Looky what I found. Thomas, do you have a looky what I found? Let me see. I've got the... I had something open here. Um, Share screen. And... Yeah. Yeah. It's just a... What? No, I'm I'm anticipating it. You yeah. got some good ones these past weeks. Yeah, you you've been doing some I really have. good ones here. I'm like, oh come on! I'm just trying. It's like Christmas. He's look at him teasing us with his titties in the bra. Yeah, <laughs> there we it's go. It's like that dad that realizes. Have you, ever, oh, have you seen this? <laughs> no, this what is... the fuck? Please. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a? Does that vaguely remind you of Starrier? Yes. No, not to me. Dad. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I also found, uh, I don't know, you may have already seen some of this stuff, but uh, I, I, I saw this here. That is somebody, took, somebody took three uh, fast tracks and made this thing. God, everything just reminds me of Robocop 2. <laughs> As soon as I saw this, I immediately bought a second fast track because I'm just going to use Black Orici as the core. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> look, at, look at that crotch rocket. <laughs> Did you guys already see these? I think you may have. No? I have not. This is glorious. Look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> he, still, he still somehow looks like an aircraft carrier. His knees are going to shoot you in the <laughs> chest, but his hands are going to shoot you in the feet. Man. And then they did this. I already made something like that, but this actually kind of looks better. Um, <laughs> I fucking love weaponizers. I swear to fucking God. I know. I know the- like, this isn't even the only com- combination form I've seen. Like, look at this one. This, yeah. 
<laughs> you know what the you know what the best part is? None of these have bones on them yet. Yeah. This looks like yeah, like if a Abominus and Fast Track had a kid. <laughs> yeah, he does I kind am, of look a little ominous -y. Yeah. I am pretty <laughs> sure if we could get a ratchet weaponizer and a Megatron weaponizer, we could finally do that fusion form. Oh my god, Hasbro, you that hear was, that? Dude, that was character super to, seven figure. Yeah. Those feet though that are pegged to his to the shoulders that that kind of are made to look like guns, they they look like they shoot pain. Man, this looks like every know. this looks like every version of Six Gun from every multiverse ever. Remember what I said? Weaponizers are just Mugen binds. This is thirty six gun, <laughs> but yet still has a Scottish accent. So many wheels, and yet none of them are on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these help oh. me shoot bullets. They feed right into my uh, slot chambers. My God, look at this. That thing just, this guy, though, doesn't that just kind of look like, I don't know, something from Macross? I don't know. Yeah, these are very anime. Like, you expect some tween age schoolgirl to pilot this. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, what yeah. does this do, Xavier Nam? <laughs> oh, what about that? Um, wow! Uh, it? Do you remember Machine Robo Rescue that had, like, uh, they had combiners that were made out of identical drones? Yes! Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, kind of what those. this game reminds me of. I still have the ones Xavier gave me. <laughs> Which one was that? Xavier gave me, oh, I think it was like a purple stealth one. He, mm -hmm. this was back whenever he was just a listener. He sent like a, he sent like a bunch of toys, and I kind of divvied them up amongst everybody that was on yep. the show at the time. Uh, anytime that we get a gift or anything like that, I try not to keep it to myself. I divvy it up amongst everybody, you know. So. Hmm. Um, and that's even with the Patreon. Like I use the Patreon to buy like new equipment to make the show better, stuff like that. If and go over to the Patreon, we'll have a link down below in, in the the show description. Go oh down God. to the Patreon. It's only going to make the show better. Once we get once we get above a hundred dollars a month on Patreon, I'm going to month to month, no matter how big it gets. I'm going to month to month donate 20% of our Patreon money to a charity. That looks like grandis. I know. I just realized it. Uh, this Ironworks combiner, um, it, like the one I did had more super robot proportions. This looks more like a building. Oh, yeah, that is it. nice. That looks like it, it should attach to the back of Star Convoy. Yeah. I know. It's pretty cool. I like. I, I, I am actually tempted to now and tr to try and build this. Do I really just realize now I am a fool for only collecting seven of each of these weaponizers? God damn it, man! What the hell's wrong with you, Xavier? I wasn't working at the time. They, <clears throat> do you think Hasbro realizes what kind of a cash cow they've accidentally stumbled upon with weaponizers? No, because this is the only transformer. That you actually come back and buy three times. I only they... post four things on our Facebook and Twitter feed. I post <laughs> I post stupid stuff. I post near nudity. <laughs> I Scott post Jones. links to the show. And I post weaponizer builds. Uh, fossilizer, too, could be in that category. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Same genus. Ha wholesome buddy, do you have a look at what I found? Um... I thought I'd share something I am working on, which is kind of relevant because I'm using uh, old Transformer parts. A uh, <laughs> kind of crazy looking tank, as you can see here. Oh my god, you <laughs> fucking Jason the Wheeled Warriors madman! Oh, wow. I just, yes. Yeah. That so, show yeah, has the everything... best opening. Uh, everything moves like the crane is articulated, the blades and rotate, <laughs> the uh, the little bolter here rotates, and the death row line in the front rotates. Oh so, my yeah. god, dude, yeah. you need yeah. to. Are those bottle caps? Yeah, yes, from bottles. Yep, this needs to have <laughs> junky ons on it, dude. <laughs> Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> this is this is where you find yeah. out this is just the prototype, so Holson figures out how the build works, and you find out the real thing is in his garage right now. 
This is an ingenious use of Lego. Action. Yeah, I'm using it as kind of like a skeleton to build it up and uh, make sure everything is lined. God, so we got... I see some Duplo too. Yep. Damn, man. <laughs> some Bakugan. Is this for, is this for Warhammer? Come again? Are you going to use this for Warhammer? Yep. Yes. Yeah, this is. <laughs> he's going to paint this up on make it all orky. <laughs> I yes. could see the teeth for the orc tank. Yep. <laughs> hey, is that main platform that gray piece with the two barrels that may uh what's that from uh hold on uh, it's from uh, micromaster or uh, sky shadow or sky stalker sky stalker that's one yeah yeah because i have him i was just i just noticed that kind of looked familiar oh yeah and uh using a whole bunch of g1 stuff multi mac <laughs> that that is, fan, that is fantastic olson wait That's till you amazing. see transform scott oh my god <laughs> transform form, form, yes i have there's seven a, dildos in my ass now there's, there's a rule in there's a rule in 40k that we all know as and it just in brackets counts as <laughs> right right hey buddy do you have a look at what i found no, I don't. That's okay. Xavier, how about you? Yes, and I need your help because I can't get over there on my side. Uh, just on the Facebook, okay. I put up three postings just now, and I was talking about one just a moment ago, but it is all the MicroMaster City Combiner bases from G1 put together that someone finally posted. They were like, look at all this goodness. And he's even got all the little... Uh, mini bot combiners off to the side staring at the city. I love this. Messengers down. Post loads. <laughs> Messengers back up, Holson. Let's take a look. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Liking that. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a thick girl. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Becky, you're in public. Uh, <laughs> Good thing you're not sharing the screen. Yeah. Am I not? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, going back to this. Glad we got Messenger back. Allow. Boop. Here we go. There we go. There's one. Oh, Ooh. damn. There's two. Wow. Oh, damn. There's three. Ah, That's three. a that. Those are some healthy girls. And also, Ariana said, we got Netflix, baby. <laughs> Isn't she in the next room? Yeah, she is. But she didn't want to interrupt me during my podcast. Which is ridiculous, because I love any interruption from her, because she's fucking hilarious. Um, <laughs> so going to Good Morning Cybertron. Uh, it's, bye, ladies. Um, let's see here. Max <laughs> edited the doc. There's me with... Uh, there's my photo of Black Arachnia using Paleotrex as a masturbation device. That's we all do. Mm, let's see here. I don't see anything that you posted. Xavier Nam. There we go. Two hours ago. Finally completed my G1 MicroMaster City. Is this the one? That's the one. This is the way. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> oh. The only yeah. The only thing this needs is a uh, Def Gary gun for a tower. Man, man, that is that is beautiful. Well, how many weaponizers would it take to emulate that? Because we got three, four different molds, right? Right. And all we need to do that is because each of these molds has at least three different colors at this point, especially right. like ironworks, ironworks, everything. You could definitely build an, an appreciable tower with a bunch of ironworks figures. No problem. Yeah. Oh, not even that. It's just that with the Amazon exclusive uh, set that's about to come out in March with all the different combinations that go with Skylinks, Skylinks alone can make a tower. Yeah. And there's a couple of 3D printed sets. Like I, I 3D printed out uh, the Skylinks uh, boosters and I printed out like a countdown rocket somebody had. Mm -hmm. So I still need to get those painted up. I just with my with my foot still healing. I'm gonna I'm gonna move all my uh, I'm gonna move my drum set into the living room, and I'm gonna put all of my customizing things right behind where I'm sitting right now. 
but shit, man, this is beautiful. Looks like you've got something else here. So Transformers are American. Transformers, oh, yeah, the manga. Before. Just read the last part Optimus says there. Hey, I know you. You're the heroic Autobots. We are Transformers from America. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And here we go. Yo, I can't believe I found the edge in the wild. <laughs> Motherfucker, let still... me out of here! <laughs> I love how he's able to get jazz upside down. Fuck yes, buddy. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> oh my god. My look at what okay. I found. Let me uh, Let me get over here to YouTube. Uh, I, I, there's this great guy on YouTube who's called the Craftsman. Spell out Craftsman minus the T. <clears throat> and he, uh, he, oh yeah, he ended oh, up, you're, he you're ended UFO. up, yeah, making a one dollar UFO look realistic and old. Honest to God, if you're into customizing or crafts <laughs> or just fucking love Bob Ross. This guy, you need to subscribe to Craftsman Steady Crafted. Uh, but yeah, I like, like I, Craftsman, like Ariana and I actually invited Craftsman to our wedding. <laughs> Is he like, from Pennsylvania? Uh, he's uh, probably from the South. He's probably, it sounds like just his voice sounds very New Orleans ish. Uh -huh. And uh, it was a thing where, like, whenever Ariana went back after February, like, we would, we would just, use google hangouts the same thing we're using for this and we would bond every sunday it was a thing where we would watch craftsman videos because she just loved craftsman and it was he he comes out and he's always in in like a puppet form like this is this is craftsman here hold on here <laughs> <laughs> like so he always has like this little puppet thing going on and it, dude's hilarious and just chill as hell. He's everything. Oh, yeah. He's everything people should be, quite honestly. He is what he collects like a lot of Star Wars. He collects, you know, and he customizes stuff. He uses 3D printers. He's just, he's so chill and he's everything, everything that, that this community needs, quite honestly. So please go support our buddy Craftsman. And it was neat because. I, I got this UFO at Dollar Tree a few weeks ago. I walked by it, and then I picked it up, and I accidentally pressed the button. Oh, cool. Yeah. When it lights up, you can see a pattern on the top. Yeah. And I, I set it down and walked away from it, picked up a few things, and then I went, I need that motherfucker in my life. And I went back and picked it up. See, and it had health benefits because it made Scott run back and get it. It did. It did. A little bit more exercise. I added 2.3 seconds to my already shortened life. But, I mean, whenever I walked out to the car, Ariana was sitting in the car, and I said, Ariana, look what I got. <laughs> <laughs> it just occurred to me that this is probably Cosmos's defense mechanism that he uses to scare off predators. <laughs> so yes, go, go look at our good friend Craftsman. He doesn't know us, but you're a friend. You're a friend, buddy. <laughs> He's like, who the fuck is Good Morning Cyber? Oh, he wouldn't he... say that. Craftsman wouldn't say that. He go, I like you guys. Yes, we can be friends. She's the first thing he's happy. The first thing he sees is Thomas sneezing, and Thomas is just like all gangly and wiping his arm across his like drooling lips, going. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that though. Oh my god, Xavier, buddy, do you have any reinforcements this week? Uh, eighty-six motherfucking Grimlock. I'm jealous. What What are you gonna do with so many Grimlocks? <laughs> I'm gonna wait until I get. <laughs> Studios or Kingdom Come uh, Megatron and make them fight because yes. that shit is tight. Nice. So, waiting for that. But I also got the Earthrise uh, Ironhide and Prowl finally. Oh, good set. Yes, indeed. And the Galactic Odyssey Collection Dominus Criminal Pursuit. Nice. With the Barricade and the Double Dealer. 
Nice, nice, nice. How about mm-hmm. you, Pete? Any reinforcements? I got uh, Kingdom. No, yeah, Kingdom Scourge. Oh. I got Kingdom uh, Optimus Primal and DX9 Drag Strip. Oh, oh, I know you've been waiting oh. for Drag Strip. Good for yes. you. Oh, which Drag Strip is that? DX9's uh, Drag Strip. Oh. That's the oh, one. And it's, it's, he's just called Drag Strip. He's not Giuliano or anything else. He is Drag Strip. Yeah, that's the that, one that, that goes with your, uh, your your mighty Menasaur that already is Menasaur without any <sighs> other figs. Yeah. So now now he's complete. Well, he was complete. I took them off the thing, but yeah. Right on. I think that's all nice. I got. Yes. How about oh, you, Holson? Looks so good. I finally had something on the way, so probably <gasps> by next next episode, I'm probably going to have... Uh, I might have Black Arachnia. Oh, hey! And uh, as well as a couple of bot bots and a uh, Star Wars crossover transformer. Which one? Captain, Are we talking... Captain Rex. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> the, the giant 18-wheeler ATV? And oh, oh yeah. it's the uh, it's the walker. Okay. The strange okay. looking walker with the six legs. Oh no, that's the one that has all like the legs hang off the back like tarantulas, isn't it? It's yeah. like water beetle. <laughs> oh no, I remember that. I was like, well, they mistransformed it. The legs are still on the back. Oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'll keep <laughs> this one in package. You know, on a little yeah. Star Wars side note. I have to give it up to the new trilogy, episodes seven, eight, and nine, because with one, with like four, five, and six were were good films. One, two, and three, I'm sorry, like Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, they all sucked. Yeah. At least, at least seven, eight, and nine had decent looking vehicles. <laughs> That's what counts. Yeah. They had decent-looking vehicles, so okay. <clears throat> Thomas, buddy, any reinforcements this week? Yes, I acquired uh, spinouts and cool. cordons. Oh, so beautiful. And these, wah, these dudes. <gasps> and I never realized just how awesome or like how, how great these look in vehicle mode. Yeah. Yeah. Night. Like just that Sunstreaker mold, its car mode is absolutely fantastic. Mm-hmm. I I ended up getting well, I finished up the blue lion. I got the blue lion for Voltron, so he's not he's not with me right now. <clears throat> this I'll show you what I'm I'm least excited for first. I got the Transformers. Earth mode back cage and punch counter punch. If anybody yeah. wants this punch counter punch, let me know. I'm selling them. You know what's funny though is if you take him out of the tray, punch is facing through the plastic and he's just stuck there and he's like, oh. This is the version that looks like the Swedish flag, right? <laughs> like, help me. It's like he's like this is frozen in carbonite. Yeah. <laughs> but this is this is the version this is the version of him that looks like the Swedish flag, right? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. What did you call him? What's, what's 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 Swedish for punch counter punch? Uh, hmm. <laughs> he's asking me, Holson. <laughs> <laughs> Pooch, counter punch. <laughs> That's obvious. Punch, <laughs> counter punch, <laughs> meatball. <laughs> meatball, counter meatball. <laughs> Take his lug nuts off with an Allen key. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Please don't, yeah, please don't be mad at me, Paulson. We love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is what I'm the most excited for. Which is ridiculous because I own two more of these. But I got my third Yay! Alien Crest. 
I can't wait to find out what card you got with that one. Let's find out. Hold on here. Ooh. Let's open up this some bitch. <clears throat> Pete, did you, Pete, did you say you got Cyclonus or Scourge? Cyclonus, not Scourge. Cyclonus. Cyclonus. Did you see on the back of the box that they finally solved the 86 mystery and they said Thundercracker was reformatted into Cyclonus? Or did not. Let me take a look at where's the there box. Like the box. <clears throat> I got. Oh, yes. Oh, hold on here. Did you get a shiny Charizard? I got Charizard. <laughs> or as the people I used to help, Chowadowd. The, this has no bio on it, so doesn't have those four little lines. No. Oh, you got Optimus. I got Optimus with Optimus Prime. Hmm. Fucking dead Optimus floating <laughs> in the face behind it. That's Optimus Prime. That's the only reason I wanted that card. Fucking dead Optimus in space. <laughs> Change oh, no, into a Okay, I thought it was like I thought it was like the one you were missing. I was like, I got them all except Optimus. Nope. Nope. Just heroic leader of the Autobots. I don't give space. a shit about the cards. Except this one. <laughs> <laughs> that goes in your collection binder. Mm-hmm. Gonna masturbate to that later. <laughs> so the prophecy. I got another Dinobot. <sighs> Oh my god. What are you guys up to this week? Uh Valentine's Day work schedule. Jesus is that <laughs> Christ. Oh my god. I got I got a dentist appointment af the day after Valentine's Day. They're gonna extract one of my teeth. You oh which one? Uh hold on here. They are going to extract. Hold on here. Uh, number thirty. Oh, okay. Glad, glad teeth don't have names like canine, molar, and incisor. It's like the. It's like this one, right there. Is that a crown? Like here's my front. Here's my front. It's all the way in the back here. They're gonna extract that one. They could have saved it with the root canal. But let's be honest, it's all the fucking way back there. It sounds like the, so it sounds like the first board. molar on one side. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's like I think it's like heck, it's there's a wisdom and then the next molar, the molar after that. So it's all the way in the back. Fuck it. As you as we all know the street name, number thirty. Number thirty. Number thirty, two place. Just I just unboxed this. Just unboxed. That. Oh, oh, yeah, but... that's a good yeah, actually, figure. I know. Yeah, I like. Well, I, I got the white one, and I like that one. This one's just run about, run about. I mean, honestly, they're all good figs, Scott. It's been a bumper crop. Scott, it really, really has. Here. It's got the metallic paint on his face that really makes him stand out. I no. I am so excited, just with like the quality of figures that's been coming out. The and the amount that's been coming out, I am really excited for HasLab Unicron. Yeah, any day now, any yeah. day. Because I think I got a really be, there. No matter what, there's going to be people that bitch about it, right? Yeah, I, I can think of it too. Yeah, there's, there's going to be people that bitch about it, but I I've really got high hopes for for Unicron. I think it's going to be it's a good looking figure. And I'm not shitting on the third party one. There seems to be like this war going on where it's like, mm. no, Core Star or whatever the whatever the hell the third party one's called. Studio Look, Cell. Studio Cell? Yeah. Studio Cell is a fine looking Unicron. They both are. They they're both good looking Unicrons. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I just I like the Haslab version. Yeah. They and both I... have they, I think to me they both have high and low points, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, Absolutely. I'm waiting for the I am waiting for the first mad lad who will try to speed run transforming that beast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, 
I feel like I feel like um, Haslabs really nailed the planet mode. Oh, dude, it's and... not even nailing the planet mode. It was even before that. They were like, check out the alternate deformed face. Check out all the little extra things like the sweep that ship and your mechanism optimized. that opens the teeth. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the tooth mechanism on the studio cell. It's like the planetary rings are a little too close. To the planet, yeah, they're a bit small. Yeah, this one, it's a nice, it's a nice ring. I'm sorry, the planet mode. Yeah, the planet mode on this looks great. Uh, mm -hmm. Not only did they nail the planet mode, I would say that they they fucked the planet mode's wife whenever it left for work in the morning. Yeah, it's it's so, not good. Like, I feel so like with with Hasbro, I feel like they knocked it out, they knocked it out of the park with park with the planet mode and the robot mode's terrific, but with the um, studio cell has a completely kibbleless robot form it no that's not right i don't like completely kibbleless for robot form on that thing just because if you looked at unicron in the cartoon it was always meant to be you know a giant sleek god of a transformer and mm -hmm. they cheated like they had to cheat to do that because it's like there's no way to possibly feasibly engineer something to look like that back but in the day didn't. Well, I mean, they did with studios, back in the day so, yeah. because we got the giant mm -hmm. green bulbous one mm -hmm. that sadly never saw the light of day. But with the new version that Haslab is producing, it looks mm -hmm. like exactly like it. And there's kibble, but it's not intrusive. And with I don't that, have a problem with it. Exactly. And it's just like, look, you're going to get one of the most demanded things ever. I'm pretty sure the value of this thing is just going to go up and up and up and up and up. And the only thing people might bitch about is like, uh, no Gobotron, like in the Armada version. This is like, fuck you. That's that's exclusive to also, Armada. Also, the aesthetic of the face is a little different on both of them. Like the one on the on the on the Haslab one is more like straight movie rendition, and the face, the way how the face looks on the studio cell looks more comic book derived. Yeah, well, I mean, I love yeah. the Aslab version because it finally fulfills the prophecy of Orson <laughs> Welles playing a giant toy that does horrible things to other toys. Yes. It's I like the fact that they took into account that in different parts of the movie, he has a different shaped chin. So there are different chins. That's cool. I, you know what? I will bitch. Maybe his his giant ruby abs could be made of clear plastic, but other than that, no. I think he's worth everything. Yeah, and you got to factor. Somebody somebody said they tried to ship it. Uh, somebody said that they like tried to ship something that was the same weight as what Unicron was, and it ended up being being something like a hundred and some dollars shipped. So I mean, that you, poor you delivery gotta, man. Yeah. Oh my god, my <laughs> delivery guy must have me. I've His, already paid the shipping on mine. The gains your delivery man must have must be so good he can kick your front door down, going, "You got another fucking another delivery fucking package, more." Get out of here, me. <laughs> I'm really worried about it. Whether or not how this thing is going to survive shipping, though. <laughs> I mean, I am ordering mine from Singapore, and it's going to come by freight. Yeah, it's it's a little Ooh. scary, but at the same time, seeing how thick and complicated the instruction manual is, I'm pretty sure that's part of the padding. Here's the thing. They got the sail barge out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so if they delivered the sail barge, they're going to be able to deliver Unicron. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, it's like I said last week. You can't have 100% guaranteed on anything, which unfortunately also means transit. So... Some unlucky <clears throat> bastard's gonna get a crushed box. Yeah, and that's unfortunate because that corner of the box is probably gonna be where like the the horns of Unicron are. It's like, oh, mine are snapped. I yeah, that's, this is gonna be scary. I've got <clears throat> faith. I've got faith, and I I can't see that that's they so they haven't held a couple back. You know, for for parts, the broken mm -hmm. parts, and what ha happened. <sighs> Damn it, Thomas, what did it bring down the temperature in the room? I was so fucking excited. 16 pounds. 16 pounds <laughs> is what the Unicron package is going to weigh. <clears throat> Including the figure inside? Supposedly, yeah. Huh. Let's see here. I'm like well, going through the uh, HasLab Unicron post right now on TFW 2005. 
And man, there's a lot of children that happen to have six hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like right now, they're all they're arguing over the position of six and nine. <laughs> well, this is the Fortnite generation you're talking about. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> these fuckers don't know who Orson Welles is. We're doing this as the true Orson Welles fans. Orson Welles wasn't that the pig on that farm show? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> these are the people who don't even remember what Battlestar Galactica is. Somebody said I would kill oh. a man for Jobby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wrong thread. <clears throat> Damn. Let's see here. What? Why is he killing somebody for Jobby? I don't know. Oh, fuck it. I think that's it for today. Is, is it that Jobby wants them to kill? Or is it that they're doing it so that they can get Jobby? Jobby doesn't seem like the kind of man that would have anybody he'd want to kill. Yeah. Yeah, he'd I'm never abuse the privilege. So. Yeah. I mean, on camera, he wouldn't ever again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Who does he look like? Next po? Oh! <laughs> Dig. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Thank you for joining us here this week at Good Morning Cybertron. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Lots of stuff going on on Facebook. My God, the Twitter. The Twitter is blown up. Thank you so, so much for joining joining us over there on Twitter. Uh, give us your money on Patreon. You know what mm -hmm. I'm going to do with your money? 20% you of it after $100 goes to charity. 80% goes to hookers. <laughs> charity hookers. Charity hookers. I just figured out a way to get 100% of the money to hookers. Yeah! <laughs> I beat the system! 20% 20, 20 of it goes to, to charity, my hooker. Uh, <laughs> and show title. And, and show title. 20% goes to charity, my hooker. Oh my god. Thank you for joining us here this week. Thank you to our Patreon supporters that are out there. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Say good night. Good, good night. 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 Good night.